take your iPad, turn it into a slap bracelet, and you've got Woof, the first computer prototype that can roll up and wrap around your wrist. Bendable displays like Woof have the potential to blow open the world of wearables. Startup Polyera makes the device, so we went there to check out Woof for ourselves. The majority of smartwatches, although you can put watch faces on them, is really a device where it's a relationship between you and it, you interact, you get information out of it. This is something where you can do that, and you can do it in a more convenient and ambient way, but you can also think about a lot of content being externally facing, right? You could have different applications running at the same so time, your email here, your text here, the map here. Absolutely, that's all customizable. And will be the product will be developed in such a way that even a non-coder, if they were to buy the product, would be able to personalize it uh, in very easy uh, ways with a companion app. This is your first product, right? This is the first product, so we've been working on the technology behind it for about 10 years, and this is the first time we'll commercialize an end device. Can you tell me a little bit about the technology behind this? Sure. So right now, it's just running a slideshow, but the flexible display is embedded in a system. It's an Android-based OS. So it's a modified version of Android. The display is multi-touch, so you will be able to interact with it like any touch screen you're used to. But what's really interesting is the display is very low power, always on. And so you will have information updating throughout the day without you needing to interact with it all the time. Right, you have kind of the same technology as a Kindle, right? The, the ink display? That's correct. So the front plane of the display, the front part which the user sees, is an e-ink based film. What we're doing right now is we're working with some leading app companies for them to develop versions of their services on our platform. In addition, it'll be open to developers. And so if you can develop in web technology, or in Java, you'll be able to develop for this device, and anything you can think of will be possible. Are you going to have any type of fitness applications? Has that been in the works? Yeah, and so there will be the ability to detect motion and count steps. Um, of course, you can also link to information that is being collected on a phone. So we're trying to open up a very different kind of platforms around a low power, persistent, large display worn on the body. And we have a lot of ideas on what would be very interesting. I have my own personal preferences, but what we want to do is encourage as wide a developer community as possible to participate. So this is the prototypes that people will be receiving in December if they're part of our program, but there are several additional elements we'll be polishing before it goes out to consumers in mid-2016. Mm, and how much will this cost? We haven't announced that yet, but I always say it'll be less expensive than the least expensive Apple Watch. Well, Phil, thanks for showing me the, the version 1.0 of the Wove. I'm really looking forward to seeing it when it comes out in the market. Thank you.